السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رب شرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل العقدة من لسان يفقه قولي سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, everyone online who is watching our program Lifestyle, welcome once again to another ep episode. SubhanAllah, today is where I am in Australia, Perth. Today is 15th of Ramadan. Half of the month has gone so quickly, super quickly, SubhanAllah. Uh, Sadaqa, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has spoken the truth when he revealed in the Quran that, uh, you know, uh, speaking about Shah Ramadan, he said, Ayyam and that. They are but a few days. Ramadan is just a few days. So if you messed up, my brothers and sisters in Islam, the good news is we are still in Ramadan, still two weeks to go, inshallah, 15 days to go. So do your best, exert the maximum effort to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do your best to be the best. Today's episode, inshallah, we are talking about another important aspect that is and has been always a way of life for the believers, and that is action. We are, as Muslims, we are action-oriented people. Islam, our religion, is an action-oriented religion. It's not a theoretical religion to just listen to reminders and, you know, praise the words here and there and feel good about what has been narrated or what has been recited or what has been delivered and do nothing about it. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, lima taquluna ma la taf'aloon. Why do you say something that you do not act upon? So action in Islam is absolutely part of our lifestyle as believers. We are not lazy community. That's why the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam used to ask Allah's protection against what? Against laziness. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan. وأعوذ بك من الجبن الجبن والبخل وأعوذ بك من العجز من العجز والكسل هو الله I ask you protection the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى to protect him against several uh, uh, behaviors and ill manners and one of them is laziness يا الله protect me against weakness and laziness so we are not lazy community we are action oriented people in fact, the Prophet ﷺ made it very, very clear that Allah does not need your actions. Your actions is actually something good for your own self, for your own benefit, for your own goodness. So if you are a person who will wake up in the morning knowing exactly what to do, you are a human being, but also you are a human doing. You have to do what is required of you. You can't just rely on faith alone in the heart and say, brother, hijab is in my heart, or brother, you know, you don't know my intention. No, actions are equally important. Subhanallah al -Azim. That's why uh, the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, your intention is absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Your intention is absolutely essential and important. That's why actions will be judged by their intentions. However, in another narration, that's why, you know, ignorance is to take part of the teachings of the Prophet sallallahu and highlight to a point that would... Uh, you know, that would, would diminish other teachings of the Prophet ﷺ about the same subject. Yes, the most popular hadith about intention is that your actions will be judged based on what you have intended. And that makes us feel that intentions are much more important than the actions. But actually, when you go deeper into the study of the Prophet ﷺ's hadith, you will see that there is another hadith where the Prophet ﷺ said that if you intended something good, but you didn't do it, because of the intention, the intention was so pure, Allah will reward you for that action, even if you didn't do it, because you were absolutely sincere to carry out that particular action. But the Prophet ﷺ said that if you intended something good and you did do it, so you actually intended to do something and you executed that particular action, Allah will multiply your reward by 700, 700 times. So subhanAllah, so act, intention is good, but it's not good enough until or unless it is accompanied by the necessary and good action. So actions in Islam are absolutely essential part of our life. You have to carry out your duties to the best of your ability. So the Prophet ﷺ is telling us like, listen, 
if Allah would were to just wipe out human beings, Allah wouldn't care. He wouldn't mind. He said in one of the narrations that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, the Prophet is saying in the Hadith Qudsi, that uh, he said, uh, sorry, it's, it's Hadith in Ibn Majah. Uh, he said that I see what you don't see. The Prophet is telling us that I see what you don't see, meaning Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is letting me observe things in the unseen world that you don't have the ability to do so or to see. Heaven is, every day, is groaning. And it has a right to be groaning. Why? Because there is not a single space, the width of four fingers, in the entire creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, except that there is an angel who is prostrating before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is not a space of four fingers to actually stand for prostration, except that there is an angel who is prostrating, you know, with forehead, with his forehead to praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, what does that tell you? That does Allah need your worship? Does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala want you to do anything? Yes, he is demanding worship, but you will not increase anything in his dominion when you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is for your own goodness. My brothers and sisters in Islam, in a hadith Qudsi, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, according to the Prophet, وسلم, said, that Allah said, Ya ibadi, inni haramtu dhulma ala nafsi. It's a bit longer, it's a bit long of you know a long narration, but I want you to really pay attention to everything that I mentioned here. So he's saying, Ya ibadi, Allah is talking now. Ya ibadi, inni haramtu dhulma ala nafsi. I made injustice, oppression, haram, prohibited upon myself. And I also made it between yourselves also haram. So don't cause any injustice to anyone. Do not ever oppress one another. All of you are astray. All of you are going to bound to be in hell. Misguided. Except those whom I have guided. So seek guidance of me so that I may give you guidance. SubhanAllah. All of you are hungry. All my servants, all of you are hungry. Except those whom I have fed. So ask of me for food so that I may give you food. Oh, oh, my servants, all of you are naked, except those whom I have given garments. So ask of me for garments so that I may clothe you. Oh, my servants, you commit mistakes and errors day and night. Do, do you relate, my brothers and sisters in Islam? We commit mistakes day and night. But it is only me who forgives sins. So ask forgiveness of me so that I may forgive you. Look at this. Every, almost in every department of these actions that we have mentioned, Allah is asking you to execute an action, to go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to take an action on your own part willingly to ask Allah for forgiveness, to do your part before you meet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment, you know, with no, no reward whatsoever. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala went on saying, إِنَّكُمْ لَن تَبْلُغُوا ضُرِّي فَتَضُرُّونِي You will never be able to harm me in any way. And you will never be able to benefit me in any way. يَا عِبَادِي لَوْ أَنَّ أَوَّلَكُمْ وَآخِرَكُمْ If the first of you and the last of you, وَإِنْسَكُمْ وَجِنَّكُمْ And the humankind amongst you and the jinn among you, كَانُوا عَلَىٰ أَتْقَى قَلْبِ عَلَىٰ أَتْقَى قَلْبِ رَجُلٍ if they were all of these jinn and human beings were to unite upon a single heart of any man of you, that will never increase in, in my dominion anything. That will never increase anything in the dominions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then Allah continue, continue, He's saying, Ya ibadi, all my servants, if the first of you and the last of you, the human of you and the, and the jinn of you, were upon the worst and the most misled human beings ever, you will never decrease anything in my dominion. Ya ibadi, again Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala repeat the same thing. That if, you know, if the, 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 the first of you and the last of you, the human of you and the jinn of you, 
فسألوني فأعطيت كل إنسان مسألة. If you gather together to ask Allah سبحانه وتعالى for all your variety of requirements and and demands and prayers, I would have given everyone his own request. If I do that, ما نقص ذلك مما عندي. That will never decrease anything of what I have already owned and that what, what I have I, I have on on position. He's al ghadi He's the ever rich Allah سبحانه وتعالى. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ended the narration by something that I wanted to highlight. Ya ibadi innama hiya a'malukum uhsiha lakum. Oh my servants, it is by but your actions that I count for you. Thumma uwafikum iyaha. Then on the day of judgment, I will reward you for it. Actions, innama. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, this is an uslub qasr wa hasr. This is a very specific term for people who carry out their activities perfectly as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala instructed. Innama, most surely it is but your actions that I am keeping account for. Then I will reward you, or of course I will punish you based on the action, what you have executed. فَمَنْ وَجَدَ خَيْرًا If you now go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with good actions, فَمَنْ وَجَدَ خَيْرًا If you find goodness as a result of your actions, فَلْيَحْمَدِ اللَّهِ Let him praise Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ وَجَدَ غَيْرَ ذَلِكْ And whosoever found other than that, فَلَا يَلُومَنَّ إِلَّا نَفْسًا If you find other than that, meaning if you found evil in your own actions, then do not blame anyone except yourself. My brothers and sisters in Islam, when the Prophet وسلم, visited uh, the cave of, of Hira, the first word that was revealed to Muhammad وسلم, was Iqra. We spoke about that in yesterday's episode when we talked about knowledge, ilm. Yes? But if you think about it, the, the, the verb Iqra means what? Means an action. Take an action. A man who could not even read his own name is given a command to read, to take an action, to exert effort, to learn. Action, subhanAllah. A few days later, my brothers and sisters in Islam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to the Prophet وسلم, another surah. And that surah what? Ya ayyuha al-muddathir, qum fa'anthir. Oh, the one who is wrapped in garments, stand up, get up. And go and warn the people, go and convey the message. No time for sleeping. SubhanAllah. Few few days later, another surah. It's all about action. Iqra, uh, sorry, Subhisma Rabbika al-A'la. Glorify your Lord the Most High, and so on and so forth. Wherever you go, my brothers and sisters in Islam. And then the Prophet, if you notice, the Prophet never go to the Ghar Hira ever again. He never been to the uh, Ghar or the cave of Hira after the first revelation. It was the time for him to act now. It was the time for him to convey the message. It was the time for him to worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as instructed. It was the time for him to save humanity through manners and actions and beautiful preaching. That was the time. No time for reflection, just sitting now wondering because there is no need to wonder. Allah had already revealed to you the knowledge. Qum. Go and purify your garments. Act. No time for, for just sitting doing nothing. That's why subhanAllah uh, when you look at uh, uh, the, in, in the Quran, you see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward you for even the uh, an atom weight of action. That whosoever carry out an, an action which is worth of a, an atom weight, an atom weight, you will see that on the Day of Judgment. Allah will reward you for it if it is good. And the opposite is also true. Mithqala dharra, the weight of an atom. If you, if you come to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with an action, action that is as light as the you know the atom subhanallah which we cannot even see with our naked eyes allah will punish you if that action was bad to that extent actions are important that's why we see the companions may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with them we see them competing in goodness 
وفي ذلك الله سبحانه وتعالى سيدنا القرآن وفي ذلك فليتنافس المتنافسون in goodness let the believers compete let them compete compete in what? in doing what is necessary in doing extra activities subhanallah the sunnah prayers was prescribed or was revealed to the Prophet sallallahu as his way of life as his lifestyle that we have adopted alhamdulillah we are not obliged to pray, to pray 12 raka every day and every night those are sunnah prayers right? as sunnah al-rawatib the two raka'ah before Fajr, the four raka'ah before Dhuhr, the two raka'ah after Dhuhr, the two after Maghrib, two after Isha. We are not obliged to pray, but it is highly recommended to pray because the rewards are tremendous. Subhanallah al Subhanallah, sadaqah. You're not obliged to pay sadaqah, but the reward of sadaqah is great. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you see that he loves those who draw nearer to him with nawafil or with optional actions. My brothers and sisters in Islam, don't ever think that just because you said La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, it's over. Now sit back, relax, recline on your chair, you are guaranteed Jannah. No, Jannah is not cheap. Jannah is not that cheap. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Ala inna sil'at Allahi ghaliya. The commodity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is so precious. The commodity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Jannah. And subhanAllah, when we look at the example and how Allah subhanahu how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam described Jannah as a commodity or a product, if you wanted to buy an expensive car, an expensive mobile phone, an expensive garment, or an expensive anything, you work hard for it. You work hard for it. You save for it until you are rewarded with purchasing that product. So Allah, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is drawing our attention to this beautiful example by telling us that if a product, a worldly product, would make you work really hard. There are some people who work all their life just to buy a house. They work hard throughout their life to pay off the debt of their house, of their home. Yeah? So subhanAllah, how much more will you exert effort in this dunya to attain Jannatul Firdaus, the highest level of Jannah. May Allah make us among the people of Jannah. Jazakumullah khairan, my brothers and sisters in Islam. May Allah make us among those people who are always ready to act in accordance to the Quran and the Sunnah, Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen. Please, my brothers and sisters in Islam, share the videos with everyone, share the knowledge with everyone, so that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you in the process. And don't forget to head to the Aware Academy uh, YouTube channel page, inshallah, and just subscribe to the channel. Jazakumullah khairan. We'll see you tomorrow with another lifestyle of the believers, of the Muslims. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.